Oh, I thought I'd uh, do a bit of an update on the uh, green speed because we haven't been out and about on it for a while. Um, we've been concentrating on our uh, single solo trikes. Um, so she's been a little bit neglected for the last couple of weeks, but it's given me time to sort of really go round it now. And um, I've had the wheels off and checked everything over, relubricated, and uh, checked the axles and uh, just generally tightening things up. Um, the one thing that was been, has been bugging me ever since I had it really was the um, the, the back derailleur. Um, just never quite felt right. It, it, it used to miss and not sit in quite correctly. I, it was a bit OCD I know it was sort of it was working but it never quite worked you know as it, as it should do really you know what I mean I know it should do and um, so I sort of uh, I've just spent literally about eight hours solidly um, concentrating on the, the derailleur um, I uh, literally took it apart cleaned it all out and uh, before putting it on rechecked the, uh, the the chain itself and uh, put the derailleur on and made sure that the chain links were correct uh, for the feet because I have moved that about a bit and uh, really it needed about two links putting in to bring it back to where it should have been and then um, literally started from scratch with the derailleur and uh, adjusted it bit by bit um, and the tension and slowly brought it back in and now actually it's the best it's ever been it's it's sharp it sits in doesn't miss and uh, I'm quite pleased really because um, I've learned a lot through just adjusting the um, and the the other trikes the two trikes I've got and um, the ice derailleur that I had to put on myself well, I didn't have to but I took the choice to I rebuilt it myself and uh, uh, found out a few things while doing that that I transferred the knowledge onto this and um, it's actually working superb it's the best actually it's ever worked um, so I'm generally pleased we've got a, a demo run to go up London this Saturday weather permitting um, should be a good run and uh, so we give her a bit of an outing and she's had a polish and overall um, she's done over 2,000 miles now and um, overall I'm extremely pleased with it I mean we've got no problems having little teeth and things like that it's not a problem it's just not just not um, adjusted in properly but I've had no problems whatsoever with the running of the bike the mountain drive um, bit of an overkill <laughs> but uh, for England I think um, I think it might be alright in the, the Alps or something like that but to tell you the truth we've never actually used that bottom gear I mean um, in earnest we might have dropped it in to sort of get up one or two really serious hills but then we didn't really need it we've used and the funny thing is the on the gear rack it's on at the moment which is the top one if you kick kick it through that actually is too low to use um, it's it, it's actually hard work to get it up a hill so we've never really used that at all the the second on that and uh, you drop it onto this one and it, it does get you up a few hills but if you kick it through again when it's on the small wheel it's just it's, you know you could go up a brick wall we've never used it you know what I mean you'd have to be going through the Alps I think to actually use it hence mountain drive I should think um, I don't regret getting it though it's a, it's a novelty <laughs> people see it and think well it looks like um, something you saw wood with but uh, it works well um, the only thing I the thing I, I, get, I wouldn't have had if I'd have had the choice um, I bet Ian wouldn't like me saying this but <laughs> is the dynamo uh, I've just found too much drag on it. it. It's only two percent, three percent, but you do notice it on a long journey. And it's it took me ages to seat, get it seated in properly, 
so there was no drag on the disc brake. Um, again, it was probably my fault not actually adjusting it correctly. I mean, but it literally took ages to sort of find a good position for it to go in by twisting this round and lubricating and, and checking out. And I even thought about bleeding the brakes at one time, but it, it wasn't the brake, it was literally the angle. It wasn't seating properly. Um, you know, we took it out, we greased the axle, checked it. It definitely is not the axle to the dynamo, but it's just, I think it's just the way it is um, that caused the problem. And again, it, I've, we've never used it, so I mean, you know, for this, for it, it, maybe if we went abroad camping or whatever, we might use it then. I think we used it once in the fog when we come back from London once, and that's about it, you know. Um, so I definitely wouldn't have had the dynamo on there because to actually replace it now to put you know you'd have to have a new axle piece and whatever and it would just cost too much money to um, bring it back you know without it so I've not bothered I've just left it on there but it's running okay it's not a problem now but again I wouldn't have had it and the second gearbox uh, again we've we very rarely use it. I mean, again, I suppose if you're, if we were actually um, piled up with luggage, then um, it would come in handy. I mean, we have stopped in the wrong gear sometimes where we've had to put an emergency stop in, and we've dropped it into, well, Adrian's dropped it into first to get us away. That's when it's really handy. I suppose that's what it's really for. But um, other than that, we've never really used it, in, you know, in mind to to, to use it. Um, and uh, the gearbox has given us no problem at all, it adjusts really easy, as you can see, this, this, there it is there, and it just pops in and out, you just, if you want to get it off, you push that button, put it in second, push the button, and it comes off. Um, the only thing that did worry me is the, the luggage bags do butt up against it, but so far it's not damaged it at all, so that was a, a worry unfounded, so Really, that's the only. Uh, that's the update on this. Really, um, overall, extremely pleased with it, and I suppose uh, I'm keeping it in the best condition I can. Because, like I say, when I lose my eyesight, this will be the only way I can actually get out. Uh, maybe that would be in the next year or two years. I'm hoping. To, I'm hope. You know, I say that, but uh, if I get through this year and get through next winter, I might just get another summer in. I think on the trike solo. And then I think I'll be passenger on this for life then. But, um, but it's a good piece of kit. Pleased I got it. Worth the money. And uh, that sums that up. <laughs>